Welcome to a special edition of the Kotak Workshop. And today I'm actually asking uh, you for help. Um, I've been asked to look at a really lovely chair. Um, I think it's old. Um, I think it might even be as old as the Jacobean period. It could be Jacobean revival. So these were the pictures that I was sent uh, of this chair. And uh, you can see the condition that it was in and uh, some of the damage that's occurred over the years. We then brought it into the workshop and had a good look all around, top, bottom, back, front. So here's a loose uh, panel, so it's two, two panels. And there's the damage to the sides and uh, wear and tear. And also here you can see cracks in the leg, which will need to be glued. It had some dog chew problems, which is fine, uh, but I'm looking for advice on how to handle that. And also, as I was talking through uh, what we were seeing with the chair, with the owner, we found this marquetry effect. So I have cleaned it up to the point where the wood is exposed. So there's three different woods here. There's the wood of the chair, which is oak. Then there is a light wood and a dark wood in contrasting pattern. Some research suggests that might be holly. I've actually got some large pieces of holly. Um, and then the dark wood, um, some chairs of this style have it as um, black oak or bog wood. So this is this parquetry. Look at that. Gosh, I wonder, I wonder if that's ebony. Look at that, stunning. So this is the split here, down, and then, is that wax or filler? That would tell us when the repair was done. Certainly, a, yeah, I think that's a wax fill. These are not woodworm holes. So this is the back and this is where there's been a repair to the split. Hmm, what's that? That looks like a screw. And that's a cover for another one. So it looks like these are original nails, but this looks like an addition of a screw here. There's been a repair on the other side. And again, it looks like the addition of a flathead screw there. This nail has been bent over. A screw in there. And this, there isn't one on that side. This has been repaired several times. It's been put in, in several sections. As I'm cleaning this, you can see there's a very dark stain that uh, I think has been applied later. Question is, am I gonna try and clean up these rings? Certainly this looks older and I don't think we want to try and take that away. But the obvious pot marks or water marks um, maybe are a bit more modern, so we might try and lighten that a bit. Here we're down at the front leg. There's a repair been done there. This is the joinery that we have on this side. 
I'm just giving it a very light clean and the dark finish is coming off very very easily um, clogging the sandpaper but I'm really not sanding and it's more just you see how lightly it's actually a layer of dirt grime finish but it's not sanding here I'm just taking off the, the rough edges from the dog chews. So just to recap what I've seen, um, split down the back panel, suggesting that it is uh, quite old. Uh, repairs with what looks like wax. <sighs> At least three places where a screw has been used. But I think that might be a repair rather than original. Here's a screw here and here. Then with wooden pins at the side. So if this has been put in later, then it's a repair, and it suggests this is older. For these parts here, I could try and replace that section, but that would be a major dismantling, and it's a major part of, of the chair. Um, but I don't want to leave it with these um, jagged edges that could cause a splinter, um, something could catch on it. So what I'm thinking about doing, and this is what I want to hear comments and feedback on, is continuing to tidy it up and then rather than use any kind of modern filler, I've got some uh, beeswax uh, from Gilboys. Uh, they send it as a, as a free sample when you order from them. Um, but similar to the repair that's already been done, just fill some of the major holes um, lightly with a bit of beeswax before putting a, a cover and, and refinishing. Up here, I am thinking that it might be quite attractive to um, clean these up and then stain uh, the sides, the oak as the rest of the chair, but then leave this as a, as a lighter finish. I can see it repeated up here in this uh, looks like a bell, might be a beehive or a bell uh, logo uh, at the top of the, the carving. But what I'm interested in is um, I can't find anything else on YouTube of a restoration of this age or style of chair. And um, I think there was a trend in the Victorian era to blacken and darken furniture, uh, which this clearly has had but at the expense of uh, this pattern. So I'm at a crossroads and uh, very interested to hear comments or send me an email. You can find that on the website at uh, www.kotak.com um, or put some comments in, I'll get back to you. And uh, very much looking forward to hearing what you've got to say, which I'll then incorporate in the final restoration. Thanks very much. Right, come in, come here, good boy, good boy. Right, who is quality control for the Cossack workshop? Who wants the job? Up, 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 up